Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. Well, I have killed my nails after 9 weeks. Today you will learn what may happen if we overwear the coating and why we should do a correction on time to the nail techs who can't find the time for their own nails. Let's get into it. To be honest, I didn't have time for the manicure. I went on a vacation, then worked hard to finish off my new online nail extension course so I blew my nails off. I have tried a new cuticle pushing technique on the index finger and accidentally cut it. My middle nail lifted up since I hit it badly while playing with the kid. Here you can also see a cut. The drill bit slipped and cut both, the coating and the nail. I start removing the coating. Here I have used some shells which are really hard to remove. So I'm using a green carbide drill bit. So it smells here like I'm at the dentist. There was a crack on the side and the nail broke. Today I plan to do a correction. So I need to remove the coating up to the thin underlay. Well, it led me down here as well. I removed the middle nail completely cause it hurts a bit. I have hit and damaged it too. And it doesn't look like a correction anymore. Three nails are gone, just two left, so let's remove the coating completely and extend the nails in you. It happens sometimes. You plan to do a correction and end up doing a new extension. I remove the free edge completely. My nails are trapezoidal. They grow sideways, so if I keep the free edge, then the nails may easily crack in the gross points later. You can see how the middle nail peeled off when I hit it. I file really carefully. Of course, I could have waited for it to grow a bit, but being nail techs, we don't want to wait and apply the coating right away. I will do a combined manicure. I don't have much cuticle, but lots of pterygium. That always gets in the way. It just keeps sticking out. I cut off a thin cuticle strip. I prepare the nails for sculpting. Apply a dehydrator. We can get on the skin with it. It acts as a degreaser, just more effectively. I always apply a primer but don't get on the skin this time. Moving on to the base coat. I apply a rubber one, since my nails are thin and flexible. I apply more near the cuticle. This way there will be a smooth transition and a lower chance of liftings. I wipe off the tacky layer so that it's easier to try on the forms. I prepare the forms one by one. I cut them and tear out the middle parts. I prefer trying on the forms and making cuts for five nails right away and then set them all up rather than do them one by one. I cut out the middle part and make cuts for the index nail. My middle nail grows upward badly, so I set up the form slightly downward and I can see a gap in the center, which means that I need to cut the form that much on the sides to make the cutout flatter. It looks like this now. I try on the form once again and mark the cuts with scissors. I cut it out. My lateral folds are pretty big, so I can't do without the cuts. I remove the form from the substrate, stick the ears precisely and form a sharp needle tip to shape an almond shape. I set it up, stick the rear ears and press it well, since otherwise the nails will get too wide. 
I will use this clear gel for the underlay. I form the length I need and lay out the side walls. From the side view, there should be a straight line and a smooth lift to the free edge. Many tags mistakenly form a straight line right from the gross point. For the design, I will use stained glass polish in blue. I find it too bright, so I mix it with some non tacky top coat. You can use any liquid material. I mix it well and paint the free edge. I blend it in using an ombre brush, forming a smooth transition. I want to tint it slightly. Now cure in the lamp. Next, I will apply this beautiful gel with Yuki flakes, which will shine in our design. Now I will need some milky pink gel. I really like this particular shade. I apply a medium layer and spread it near the cuticle, forming a smooth transition. I blend it in up to the center of the free edge. So using this drop, I sculpt a smooth lift to the highest point and then the apex itself. This layer should cover up the natural nail plate. I turn the nail over to let it flow to the center. And then apply some crushed shell pieces on the gel layer. This white one in the center is bigger, so it looks even more voluminous. I cure one nail at a time. Make sure to turn the hand over to keep the gel from flowing onto the sides. After curing, I add some golden foil on the free edge. This particular foil has got some blue areas. Done with the underlace. I remove the forms and all is left to do is to cover up the free edge with some clear gel. We have sculpted the cuticle zone with the milky gel, so there is no need to apply more gel there. I try to move carefully, so as not to whip the gel and form bubbles. After 20 seconds, I clip the material and set up the clip on the free edge to make it narrower. I send the nail to cure with the clip on. Note that there is no point in just clipping the nail with reverse tweezers. Now I can wipe off the tacky layer and proceed with filing. To form an even surface right away, without filing a lot. First, I use a carbide drill bit. We can file up most of the material with it. Prepare the surface and then finish it off with a file. Since I have overworn the nails, there were liftings. One nail got damaged when I hit it. And overall, instead of the plant correction, I had to do a new extension. That's why it's so important to do a correction on time. And here's my favorite part. I apply top coat and it reveals the aquarium design underneath. It shines beautifully. I also cover it up from the inside to get that crystal effect. Don't forget to cure the nails in this position as well. It reminds me of the underwater world. And you? So now you know why we should not overwear the coating and what it may result in. So make sure to schedule a correction right after the extension procedure. Then your client will come on time and you will avoid any negative consequences. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye bye.